Well, you know, as rough as it's been this season for the Utah State Aggies, we're still witnessing an all-time great season by one Aggie receiver. Just over the last three games, Jalen Royals has hauled in 29 passes for 478 yards and four touchdowns. Today, Royals was doing it all over again against Bronco Mendenhall, making his return to the state of Utah with his New Mexico Lobos. He probably didn't care much for how this game started off. Avante Dickerson picks off Devon Dampier's pass on the game's opening drive. That would lead to a Spencer Petras touchdown run, 7-0 lead. Utah State's next drive goes 58 yards. Rasul Faison trucks a defender for six-yard score, 14-0 Aggies. New Mexico cut the lead to 17-15, but just before halftime, Petras to Otto Tia for the touchdown. Utah State leads 24-15 at the half. And even though he didn't get into the end zone in the first half, Jalen Royals had seven catches for 106 yards in the half. In the second half, he kept piling up the numbers. His 10th catch of the game would go for a 13-yard touchdown right here. Royals would add one more catch for a career-high 11 receptions in the game, third time this season with 10 or more catches, 188 yards receiving in this game, the second most of his career, and his third career game of 180 or more yards. Now, the Aggies were up 38-23 after that Royals touchdown catch. The lead was trimmed to two in the fourth, though. That's when Herschel Turner takes off. How about a 43-yard touchdown run? Seems like Utah State cannot be stopped. 45-36. Utah State defense, though, had trouble getting stops. Dampier on the keeper cuts the lead to 45-43. Utah State trying to put the game away, going for it on fourth and one. This time, they are stopped. Petras stuffed up the middle. Four plays later, Eli Sanders... He scores for New Mexico, and it's a 50-45 lead. Does Utah State have late-game magic? Petras' pass is picked off. This is one painful way to lose. The Aggies drop the lead, end the game 50-45, their sixth straight loss.